Omar Def. I work with VSO Langa. Under SRH project, under a health project. I want to, keep, to talk about my short story. I was born here. After one year, I got sick of meningitis, then I became deaf. I also have a sister who is a deaf as well. When we were seven, we went to school. We went in a special, in a special school for deaf in southern province. It was good enough because we had sign language there. After one year they, there, the director realized that it's better we move to a school with hearing children. It was really a challenge. We struggled a lot to learn in that situation because we didn't have sign language interpreters. Our teachers didn't know sign language, so we just struggled to, to study so that we completed our primary. We tried our best. We, pro we completed primary. We went in secondary school. And then we, we, we got government scholarship. I graduated from Adventist University of Central Africa. Let me talk about why I, I applied for volunteering in VSO. I wanted to bring a change in the deaf community because many of young deaf girls are single mothers. They are single mothers because they didn't get information about sexual reproductive health. Yes, they don't get information about sexual reproductive health because they cannot communicate with their parents, their parents don't know sign language, and many of them didn't go to school. After seeing that, I felt that I had to help my fellow deaf youth so that they get information about sexual reproductive health. So that's why we train deaf people about sexual reproductive health and family planning. And the second reason I engaged in volunteerism is because I wanted to run. As a fresh graduate plus a deaf girl, I couldn't get a job easily. But through volunteering, I'm getting experience. I've been in VSO for two years. I now have experience that I can say that I can work in different organizations. So it means that even though I'm a deaf, I can work. Through volunteering, I got experience. Let me, I also joined volunteerism because I wanted to, to teach deaf young people about social accountability so that they can raise their voice to talk about their rights. So that they can ask duty barriers about their rights. For the service they are getting. Let me now talk about the impact of my work as a volunteer. The first thing, we created awareness among local leaders, community health workers, and nurses about the existence of deaf people in the community we are working in. The second thing, in the community we are working in, deaf people are getting health services, accessible health services, because we train community health workers and nurses about basic sign language. So when a deaf people need the health services, he or she tries to communicate with a nurse or community health worker using sign language. The other thing is that we train deaf people about vocational training and nowadays they are 
getting profit. They are generating income about what to train them. The other thing is that when we did identification of deaf people in our community, many of them didn't have ID. Nowadays, we tried to advocate for them. They are registered, and now they have national IDs. And the fifth thing about the impact, in the last international conference on family planning, the abstract about the work we are doing was among 10, 10 best abstracts in the abstracts we had. So, in conclusion, I want to invite deaf people to join volunteerism. I also, for helping vulnerable people, using the resources they have. Please, you young youth who are here, please join volunteerism. And I also want to encourage different NGOs, civil societies, development partners, government as well, to help young people to be in volunteerism. I also want to challenge different agencies, like we do have UN agencies, UNDP, UNFPA, UN, 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 UNV, so please build policies which are inclusive so that people with disability will be included in your program because disability is not an ability. As I encourage you in volunteerism, I'm pleased to welcome an example world figure an African son, former captain of Cote d'Ivoire national team of football, Chelsea Striver, and UNDP Goodwill Ambassador, Didier Droba. To, to walk us through influence on the chain. Thank you.